George Stevenson, born on June 9, 1781, in Wylam, Northumberland, England, was a prominent figure in the field of steam locomotion during the Industrial Revolution. Coming from a humble background as the son of a colliery fireman, Stevenson's limited formal education did not deter his insatiable curiosity and drive for knowledge. Stevenson began his career as a colliery engineman, operating and maintaining steam engines in coal mines. His hands-on experience and keen interest in engineering led him to experiment and improve steam engine designs. In 1814, he built his first locomotive, the Blucher, which successfully hauled coal at Killingworth Colliery. This early success propelled him into further locomotive development. Stevenson's most significant achievement came in 1825, when he designed and constructed the Stockton and Darlington Railway, the world's first public railway to use steam locomotives for both passengers and freight transportation. The railway opened in 1825 and covered a distance of 25 miles, connecting collieries near Shildon with Stockton-on-Tees and the River Tees. The success of the Stockton and Darlington Railway marked a turning point in transportation history, demonstrating the viability and efficiency of steam-powered railways. Following this accomplishment, Stevenson played a crucial role in the construction of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, one of the most important railway projects of its time. In 1829, a competition known as the Rainhill Trials was held to select the best locomotive for this railway. Stevenson's rocket, designed in collaboration with his son Robert, emerged victorious. The rocket incorporated several groundbreaking features, including a multi-tube boiler, a blast pipe and a steam blast chimney. Its top speed of 29 miles per hour impressed the judges and established the rocket as the standard for locomotive design. Stevenson's engineering expertise extended beyond locomotives. He became an advocate for standardizing rail gauge, promoting the adoption of a consistent width between railway tracks. His efforts in standardization were instrumental in enabling interoperability and the expansion of railway networks globally. Throughout his career, Stevenson continued to design and construct numerous railways in the United Kingdom and abroad, including the Manchester and Leeds Railway, the London and Birmingham Railway, and the Grand Junction Railway. His projects played a significant role in the rapid industrialization of Britain and the development of a comprehensive railway network. In recognition of his contributions, Stevenson was appointed Chief Engineer of the London and Birmingham Railway and was later appointed engineer for the Great Western Railway. His engineering brilliance, innovative designs, and relentless pursuit of efficiency and safety earned him widespread acclaim and established him as one of the leading figures in the history of transportation. George Stevenson passed away on August 12, 1848, leaving behind a profound legacy. His remarkable achievements not only transformed the way people and goods were transported, but also laid the foundation for the modern railway systems that continue to shape our world today.